Okay, we have our table and graph for y equals x squared. Okay, for uh, and if, if y equals f of x, equals x squared, we want a graph, uh, a table, then a graph of y equals f of x minus 5. Is the problem say plus 5? Is it plus 5? I, I kind of like minus 5 better. <laughs> okay, so let's change it to x minus 5, okay? That's what I'm doing. Maybe not what's on the paper, but it's kind of related, okay? Mainly because we did an x plus something in the MCR, and you've got that video to refer to if you need it. Okay, so let's see what happens if you have a minus here. Okay, so let's see. Well, we want values for 1, 1 fourth, 0, 1 fourth, 1, and 4. What x value we give you for, for the function f of x minus 5? Well, first of all, let's just go ahead and say, okay, well, that's x minus 5 squared, right? So now that we see what the function is, we ask, well, what would we have to square in order to get 4? And what would our answer be? 2. 2, right? Okay. That's one answer. What's another answer? Negative 2. Negative 2, right? So we could square 2 or negative 2 in order to get 4, okay? Okay, well, two squared is 4, negative 2 squared is 4, right? Mm -hmm. So x minus 5 Could, you can't read that word, but it could be Seven. 2 or negative 2, couldn't it? Okay. Well, if x minus 5 is negative 2, what's x? 7. Okay. If x minus 5 is negative 2, what would you subtract 5 from to get negative 2? To get negative 2, it'd be 3 minus 5, right? Yeah. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. To get 2, it would be 7. And I heard a lot of people say 7, right? So x could be either 7 or negative 2 to give us 4, right? Well, luckily, we have 4 here and here. Okay? So we're going to say, okay, well, probably we're going to have 3 here, and we're going to have, uh, sorry, we're going to have 7 here and 3 here. Okay? That would work. Now, if we ask what would we square to get 0, what's the answer to that? Zero. To square, well, what number zero. squared is equal to 0? Zero. Zero. zero, right? Yeah. So x minus 5 would have to be 0, right? which means x would be what? 5. So actually, if we look at 4, we get two possible answers because squaring, you know, there are two numbers you can square and get 4, right? And we maybe have a pretty good idea of where they ought to go, which 4 goes with which number. But if we go to 0, we know for sure what number, right? Because to get 0, uh, x would have to be negative 5. Okay. Up plus 5. Okay? And to get 1, well, you know, we got 5 here, we got 7 here. I'm going to take a stab and say, what about 6? <laughs> okay? Well, yeah, 6 minus 5 is 1, and 1 squared is 1, right? So that works. And um, 4 also works to give us 1, because 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Square that, you get 1. Okay? Now, we could also get numbers here and here, but I'm not going to worry about those. 
because we're going to see what happens to the graph without worrying about these two. Okay? Well, what points do we get if we plot these? We get 3, 4. Okay, well, here's 3. We're going to have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is going to be out there, but we're not going to get 2 because it's off the edge of the board. I had to bunch things up a little bit to get 6. Okay? When x is 3, x minus 5 squared is 4. So that gives us a point right here in the middle of my y equals x squared label. Lack of foresight. Okay? 4, 1. Well, there's 4, there's 1, there's 4, 1. 5, 0, that's here. 6, 1, well, that's going to kind of be here. It's actually a little bit off the board with the scale I've got, right? But we can see what the graph is going to look like. It's going to look just like this. And it's just a copy of this graph, but shifted over five units, isn't it? Okay? So, okay, shift five units. Well, there's more to it, but uh, check the MCR video for another example, okay? Same idea. And, of course, we did this last time as well.